Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois, and I am in what is loosely called the wellness space. However, it is much more than that that I do. Today, I'm going to talk to you about long hauler and the symptoms and some of the things that you may not know that are coming up for you. So I'm the creator of Four Zone Healing, and I pride myself on making sure that people feel better because what's the point unless you feel better so i'm going to talk to you right now about some of the symptoms as you know that there are a lot of symptoms uh being talked about but there's not a lot of solutions i have solutions not only do i know the solutions i also am a metaphysician okay what that means is i work with the energies of your body you are someone who has an inherent natural ability within your body to heal. There are things that are actually related to your hormones. There are things that are actually related to parts of your central nervous system. And yet nobody's really been able to piece it together. What I'm here to tell you is um, there is a process to do this uh, so that you can make a good recovery and not only recover, but strengthen yourself. So some of the things that you may experience, you may feel like you don't want to get out of bed. You may feel grumpy and cranky. You may feel a bit old beyond your actual age. You may feel as though um, your joints aren't cooperating and that you're sort of losing a sense of strength. You become fatigued after some physical exertion, which may be as mundane as doing your laundry and you just become you know, exerted and just fatigued and you need to lay down. What is happening to you? Do you also find that as the day takes on and you find yourself doing what is called sundowning, which means as the sun is going down, you need to lay down as well. Now, part of that has to do with the fact that you have a body which is essentially a mammal body and as such it is very relatable to mammals who do hibernate like bunnies and bears you know some of our favorite animals but we have uh internal parts that are similar to them unlike animals we can be in moods it can affect our emotions it can affect our mental health and this and yet for many people this goes beyond seasonal affective disorder they wake up fatigued, even if they slept. They wake up and they're trying all the things like they're running a 5K, that's not working. There is a way to do this so that you climb up again. The closest thing I would compare it to, to really give you an idea, is pretend you're going to climb Mount Everest or one of some really large mountain, okay? You have to level up, which means you have to acclimate you're ascending so this means that your body has to become accustomed to certain things but it's also a little bit like a reboot women are rebooting they're experiencing problems with their menstrual cycles and again yes this does and has affected this whole central nervous system not in its entirety but certain parts of it which I break down into the zones of the body. So when you have this, you also want to make sure that this is a firm recovery and that you're not going to backslide. You're not going to uh, go into what some people may consider remission. So I am running a class. It, we are starting with um, three meetings, three weekends, so that you can get up and running. You'd be surprised by the end of that third segment how much you feel better because you will have tools and you will have things that you learn how to do in my class that give you the results that are needed. If you're young and you're feeling a bit older than your time, please join. If you're a little bit older and you're saying, I'd really like to feel better and I can't deal with this fatigue, I've got things to do, I've got responsibilities, um, this is for men and women. This is for anyone who is suffering with this. And if you check out the links below, you will see this. 
I myself have had COVID. I myself have had those types of illnesses my entire life before it was sort of more on everyone's radar. I had to get through it. And the things that got me through, my breathing, learning how to breathe in certain ways, learning what to do when I was um, truly feverish, learning what to do about how to eat. These are all things that have stood me well. And so when it hit, I knew exactly what to do. When it affected my son, I knew exactly what to do. And he had a severe case. He had 104 fever. He had some of the delirium, which we'll discuss that. So please check out the links below. And I hope to see you there. And I hope to help you make January part of the time frame for a new year where you really decide you're going to get next level wellness, diamond level wellness. This is what I'm all about. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.